good morning to everyone i welcome you all in today's online class and today we are uh, here to discuss about the economics uh, it is the part of social science economics and uh, we are uh, here to discuss the chapter 2 already we have discussed so many things the basic concepts what are the contents present what are the main topics uh, of this chapter uh, we have to read that we discussed already in the last class like uh, we have to read in this chapter who are called as people what is resource why people uh, people uh, that is called as liability why people is called uh, people are called as asset how to transform the people from liability to asset and also that is economic activities uh, what are the types of economic act economic activities means activities which helps us to earn money and then market and non-market activities then also division of labor skill labor unskilled labor like that later we'll discuss in detail and also quality of population like education health skill and also unemployment these are the things we have to read in this chapter that we already discussed and also we discussed in the last class uh, what do you mean by people who are called as people or human beings uh, people means it is the plural form of person or group of uh, human beings and what do you mean by resource the things which can satisfy our needs and also why people are called as resource because people also can satisfy the needs of us people have skill people have the quality to fulfill the needs that's why and also people can and convert the natural things into that is uh, valuable things into resources then we discussed also that uh, people are uh, resource or people are the liabilities that depends on which thing if people have productive skill if people have quality if people have ability to convert the things into resources if people have good health that means people are healthy if they are well trained if they are employed that means getting job then they are called as resource but when the these things are not going on when these things are uh, totally negative that means in the place of productive skills the people are unproductive at that time liability liability means burden liability means pressure uh, like uh, you are also now liability but it does not mean that you are not resource you will be resource in the coming days now you are in the process of formation of resource you are under process why because now you are getting education now you are getting medical care from your family member and also that is what why are you called as liability now lack of abilities to convert the things into resources and also when people will be called as liability when they are unhealthy when they are untrained and also when they are not getting job or unemployment so uh, and also we discussed in the last class how to convert the liability into asset because liability means i have told it is one burden it is one pressure so we have to overcome this thing we have to uh, that is eradicate this thing we have to remove this thing from the society from the country we have to make our people resource we have to make our people asset and how is it possible that we have to make investment investment of money investment of, of time investment of also that is your good thinking on which thing education in training also because education makes you good human being training can makes you that is a, a skillful person and also investment in medical care or health care because it makes you healthy uh, there is no place for unhealthy people when you will apply for job you will see that there are also medical certificate is required they are going for medical uh, that is checkup that means what they want to know that with or with your skill you are healthy or not because uh, you have skill but you are unhealthy that means what you will remain absent in job so that is also not welcome uh, in the job uh, so now come to the next that is um, we have also compared uh, between japan and india why japan is developed country and why india is developing because there is huge difference present in literacy rate that means education facilities uh, difference present life expectancy that means medical care or health facility difference present life expectancy means how many years you are going to live it is one type of expectation and unemployment also so these are the things we already discussed Today we will discuss only two stories of two persons, a story of Sakal and story of Bilas. So let us read the story of Sakal. There were two friends Bilas and Sakal, I already told and they were living in which village? Uh, same village, Simapur. They were living in the same village, Simapur. 
so at first let us know about the the story of sakal sakal was a 12 year old boy sakal was a 12 year old boy age we have come to know that is 12 years old his mother sila name of his mother that is what sila looked after domestic chores that means different type of domestic activities domestic food uh, and uh, making of food and also cleaning of houses etc that type of domestic activities his father buta choudhury worked in an agricultural field that means farmer sakal helped his mother in domestic chores that means uh, uh, he also was living with his mom and dad that's why he also helped his mother in different type of household activities he also looked after his younger brother that means he had also one younger brother what is the name jitu and also one sister situ so uh, how many members present sakal mom dad one younger brother one sister so total five members present and now come to the next uh, one more member present his uncle sam had passed the matriculation examination but was sitting idle idle means what not getting any job not doing anything uh, like that in the house as he had no job buta and sila were eager to teach sakal that means uh, the parents of sakal they were in the uh, in that type of thinking that whatever the problem present whatever the money crunch present whatever the economic crisis present after there also they will and uh, they try to send the sakal to the school they try to ma- make him a qualitative person uh, they try to make him educated and skillful that's why take a look they forced him to join the village school which he soon joined that means uh, parents of circle forced him to join the school and also he uh, did this thing that means he went to the school he started studying and completed his higher secondary examination that means up to 12 class in the school his father persuaded him then convinced him tried uh, tried to encourage him to continue his studies take a look what type of help he has got from the family he raised a loan from for sakal to study a vocational course vocational course means it is that type of course which is helping you to make you that is skillful to make you a good uh, that is a trained person well trained person it helps you to get a good job in which thing in computers so that also he has completed vocational course in computers next that is sakal was meritorious and was intelligent and interested in studies from the beginning with great vigor and enthusiasm that means in in himself also that type of thinking and that type of concept present that i want to do something in the coming days he completed his course after some time he got a job in a private farm why he has got why he has, he, he was employed because he had that type of skill he was well trained after that he even designed a new kind of software take a look that his skill his quality his education help to develop a software this software helped him increase the sale of the farm and his boss acknowledged that means praised and his services and rewarded him with a promotion that means what the circle in the beginning struggled but they never gave up they tried to fight with the that is um, different type of obstacles but they the own the battle and now he is in the good position it is the story of sakal now come to the story of bilas again from the same village bilas was an 11 year old boy residing in the same village as sakal bilas uh, bilas father bilas's father mahesh was a fisherman so you can understand what was the occupation of uh, his father his father passed away when he was only 2 years old that means one tragedy happened take a look it is one negative point to improve the quality his mother geeta sold fish to earn money to feed the family she bought fish from the land owners pond and sold it in the nearby mandi so you can understand that means just carry forward the a business family business that is related to the that is fish selling and etc she could earn only rupees 150 a day by selling fish 
it is very difficult to fulfill the needs it may be education it may be medical care and it may be other needs villas villas became a patient of arthritis take a look that means what due to the lack of medical facility due to the bed proper treatment and due to the lack of medical care uh, he was suffering from arthritis his mother could not afford to take him to the doctor due to the lack of money that means uh, he could not go to the school also he could not uh, get the that is medical care so two things which are required to make a uh, person from liability to resource liability to asset that education and medical care both the things he could not get so next that is he could not go to the school either he was not interested in studies huge difference present between sakal and bilas sakal was interested and bilas was not interested he helped his mother in cooking and also looked after his younger brother mohan after some time his mother fell sick and there was no one to look after her another tragedy occurred there was no one in the family to support them take a look he has not he had not got any kind of economic support also moral support also bilas too was forced to sell fish in the same village he like um, his mother earned only a meager income meager means very minimal that means you cannot count it uh, you have seen already for uh, that is 150 rupees a day so it is very minimal minimal now come to the next Next that is uh, comparison. Let us compare with the Sakal and Bilas situation. Sakal went to school. Bilas did not go to school. First difference. Sakal was physically strong and healthy. Bilas was a patient of arthritis. Sakal acquired a degree in computer programming but Bilas did not go to school. Sakal found a job in a private firm but Bilas con continued with the same work as his mother. Clear? So that means huge differences present. We have already got the thing that Sakal uh, got each and every facility to convert the liability into resource, resource to convert the liability into asset. But Bilas did not get that type of facilities. It may be the education. They are also not. It may be that is uh, healthcare. It may be the family support. Nothing. And also training. These are the things uh, Sakal got, but Bilas did not. Now come to the next that uh, what is the conclusion of these two story Sakal education that means Sakal has got the education and which en enhances the quality and productivity because I already told education helps a person to become a good human being side by side also improves the quality. So when your quality that is improved that means you become productive and your productivity is also improved that means capacity to produce something good and also circle education helps him to earn higher salary that we have already seen because he has got the job he has got the promotion education improves his economic condition also because uh, when you are educated when you are getting job your salary you will be good you will get the promotion that means what your economic condition will be developed and here just see the difference with now uh, with bilas bilas due to lack of education he could not enhance his quality and productivity because education was not there so he could not do this thing due to lack of education he could not earn much and was forced to do the same work like his mother but sakal uh, was not doing the same work like his father he was not busy on the agriculture and i'm not telling that agriculture is not good like but he did something good uh, whatever he learned from the training from the education due to lack of medical care he was suffering from arthritis but sakal all sakal got the good treatment good medical care from the family by by his parents so these are the differences and this is the gist so what we understood that already we discussed if we want to convert the liability into resource liability into asset we have to provide we have to invest in education we have to invest in training we have to invest in medical care so these are the story to uh, discuss the thing in a better way to tell you that these three things are important so now you are getting uh, that is uh, help from your family the your family members are investing in education in training and also in health care that that means what they want to make you a resource they want to make you a an asset 
they don't want to see that you will become liability so that's all for today next day we'll uh, discuss about the other things so i have attached the pdf file also with this video you will uh, check the pdf file you will write down the class note in your class or copy and if you have any doubt without any hesitation put up the query and i will try to solve your problem so thank you and have a great day